In the State of Connected Planning report, we learned from our customers that connected planning is critical to achieving successful business outcomes. We learned that a lot of people are struggling with connected planning, but that it's really the way forward in order to, to excel in your business objectives. So one of the things we outlined in that report is the need for an Anaplan Center of Excellence. An Anaplan Center of Excellence is your way to connect your people, plans, and data. It is your connected planning team that creates the connected planning engine and the success that you're looking for. So we want to talk more about what is an Anaplan Center of Excellence, what do you need to set one up, what should it look like, and how will your Anaplan COE be successful? We're going to start with who are the cast of characters needed in your center of excellence? It doesn't need to be anything too, too large or overwhelming, doesn't need to be a large team to start out with, and this team will grow over time as your Anaplan footprint grows and as your Anaplan connected planning journey expands. So let's start with the first member of your center of excellence. So here at the foundation of your Anaplan Center of Excellence is the master Anaplanner. This is your Anaplan solution architect, your go-to expert, the person who knows Anaplan better than anybody else in your company. We start with them because they're the people who know how to build connected planning. They're probably along with you along the journey, uh, the longest. They started with the beginning of your first Anaplan implementation, and they're your expert who's gonna help you build this team out. A master Anaplanner is also somebody who can learn about best practices, understand how your company will implement connected planning across the organization, and they're really going out and bringing back the best of the Anaplan community to your company. So we start with the master Anaplanner. Many centers of excellence just have one or two master Anaplanners as their core team, and that's okay. That's a great starting point. The next place you need to go, though, is a strong executive sponsor. The chief planning officer is the executive sponsor of a center of excellence. The reason that we need a different officer, a different person at the top of your organization is because this person enables cross-functional planning. When we look at connected planning, when we look at expansion of Anaplan across a company, we look at connecting sales, marketing, finance, uh, HR supply chain. In order to do that, we need this new leader to help drive cross-functional planning. Most importantly, they're tasked with understanding the corporate objectives of your company and connecting those objectives to plans which are then needed to drive successful outcome of those objectives. So between these two people, the master Anna planner and the chief planning officer, that's really what you need for a successful center of excellence. And this is a great starting point with both understanding the technical side of how to build Anna plan and the executive oversight, one strong executive leader, that's a successful center of excellence. As centers of excellence grow, as Anna plan COEs expand, there are some other roles that we're gonna fill in here. So here are some of the next roles that we usually see in the development along the journey of a COE. Yep. Next up, we have the center of excellence lead. So the center of excellence lead is really just that. It's a team member who's focused on the success of the COE, making sure that it's achieving its core mission and making sure that everybody's getting stuff done. So the COE lead reports to the chief planning officer and then is tasked with carrying out kind of the execution arm of that executive sponsor. COE lead would then oversee and help a master and a planner decide what they should be working on it. From there, Kind of the last step of the dedicated team of Anaplan resources is your pool of Anaplan model builders. We call them an Anaplaner Council, and it's the people who are building your models as you're expanding. The Anaplaner Council looks to the master Anaplaner, the solution architect, for guidance on what they should be building and how to build it. Also, very importantly, as COEs expand, 
you need to find more resources to fill this Anna Planner Council, that's the job of your master Anna Planner, to go out and find people within your company who have the planning skills they need and then train them on how to use those skills in Anna Planner. So from here, there are some other roles that you need in your center of excellence. And as you're expanding your footprint, your Anaplan footprint, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna be implementing lots of use cases. So in order to help drive those implementations, you need the support of a PMO. So as you're implementing additional Anaplan use cases, you have project management, those people are gonna drive your implementation methodology, make sure you're bringing all the right people to the table, and that you're having successful implementations of Anaplanet. After, uh, after you have some successful implementations, this team should be implementing the Anaplan way, this team should be helping drive future expansions of Anaplanet. Reporting to the PMO, reporting, reporting to the project manager of the implementation team, are your experts who understand the business processes. We know that you can't have connected planning success without implementing strong business processes. Your business subject matter experts are the people who are telling you how to build Anaplan models to support business planning. And they report to the project manager and kind of support the rest of the connected planning team. And then along the lines of those implementations, you need a QA team to make sure that what you're building actually supports the business processes that your business subject matter experts asked for. Your QA team is gonna help you during your implementation to make sure that you have a successful model build. And then as you go to production, you'll need a production support team to manage things like defects, defect tickets, support requests, and other things that'll come up from your end users. Often from an Anaplan perspective, we see this being one team, but depending on your company, that could be separate teams or owned elsewhere in the organization. We look at this center of excellence as the strong foundation for enabling connected planning. This centerpiece is your core backbone. These are your dedicated Anaplan resources, the people that you need to ensure Anaplan success. And then the broader team is who you need to make sure that everything that you're building and doing within the organization is actually enabling connected planning. These outside people usually aren't full-time Anaplan resources, but they support the role of connected planning. And again, goes without saying, every company has a different structure and setup for their center of excellence. So this isn't a template that you need to follow, but this is the most common successful example of a COE that we've seen. So this should help drive you identifying how you should build your center of excellence. And with that cast of characters, those are the connected people who are helping drive connected planning.